everyone, Dr. Melissa here, and today we're going over yoga for constipation relief. For those days where you're feeling bloated, uncomfortable, and full, this is the perfect class for you to get instant relief. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out, and go grab your mats and let's do this. Let's get things moving. Let's get started down on our backs. Find a comfortable position when you're laying down. Those knees can be bent. You're starting with a couple gentle breaths out into the sides of your rib cage, maybe down into your belly, and observe what's happening. Observe where the breath goes and trying to keep it out of your chest. Breathing is really important with our digestion because it can also help get things moving. Let's start off by bringing those knees in towards your chest and just gently rocking from side to side. Continue with that same breathing. So when we don't take gentle breaths in or if we hold our breath, that grips and makes everything really tight and help get things moving. Good, maybe you start to do little circles with your knees. Also feels like a nice massage along your low back. And then maybe you're gently switching directions of those circles. Notice what happens as those knees come closer in toward your chest. Good. And on that next exhale, you'll bring everything to a still and then pull everything all the way up. Curl your chin up toward your chest. Nice, gentle breath. You can rock coming all the way up. And then we're gonna grab hold of that right leg. Lengthen your left leg out or you can keep that left knee bent with the foot on the ground. And the same thing, just gently rocking back and forth. You can also grab that knee from underneath if that's more comfortable. And take a nice breath in. Maybe on your exhale, you curl all the way up. Inhale, lower back down. One more time, exhale, curl, lift all the way up. And then lower back down. We're gonna come into half happy baby. So you're gonna take that right knee and drive your right knee down toward your right shoulder. Your foot is gonna be facing the ceiling. And if you would like, you can grab the outside of that foot so that knee is still coming down towards your armpit. And just very gentle little rocks from side to side, still using your breath. Nice gentle breath. So hand can be on that foot or behind the back of your knee opening up our hips, continuing to use your breath. Good, take one more nice breath in here. Exhale, let it go. Then you're gonna place both feet back down on the ground. Move your feet so they're about mat distance apart and let the knees rock to the left side and then over towards the right side. Left side, continue with that breath. Maybe you're starting to hear some gurgling noises. That stomach is starting to move. Things are moving through our intestines. Good. And now we're just gonna switch sides. So you're gonna take that left knee, grab hold of your left knee, either on top or behind the back of the knee. That right leg can stay bent or you can have it out straight. And just doing those gentle circles back and forth from side to side. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good, take another nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. On that next exhale, maybe you curl yourself, come all the way up. And then lower back down on that inhale. And then again, exhale, curl everything up and then bring it back down. Coming into half happy baby. So you're gonna grab behind the back of that left knee and pull the left knee towards your left armpit or grab hold of the outside of that left foot coming into that half happy baby. Right leg can be out straight or you could also have that leg bent. And the same thing, we're just gently rocking from side to side, getting things to loosen up. Continue with that breath. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good, 
good. We'll take one more breath in here. Exhale, let it go. And then take that leg, place that leg back down. Bend both those knees one more time. This time we're gonna head over towards the right hand side first. And then lift up and over towards the left hand. Really breathe out into the sides of the rib cage, down into that belly, nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Now here we're gonna roll onto our stomachs. We're gonna take the yoga mat and you're gonna roll your yoga mat up. If you don't have a yoga mat, you could also use a towel or a blanket or a small pillow. And we're just gonna roll that up. So it's about three inches, two to three inches. And we're gonna take the mat and place it just below our belly button across our lower abdomen. You're gonna lower all the way down onto that. Press yourself up onto those forearms. Nice, gentle breath in. You're gonna pull yourself forward, lift up. And then you're gonna gently lower back down. Use your breath in and out of this. Press, lift, come up. Breathe into it, push that stomach into the mat. And then exhale, let the mat sink into your stomach. Inhale, press up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, press into those arms, pull yourself, lift up. Exhale, back down. Good, last time, press, lift all the way up. Now we're gonna mix things up a little bit. So you're pressing up, but this time I want you to round out, pull your chin in towards your chest, round through your mid back, and then pull yourself forward, lift up. Exhale, press into your forearms, round out, chin to your chest, and then pull yourself forward. Good, press, round it out. One more time, pull yourself, come forward. You wanna lower all the way down. You can bring those forearms straight out in front and just let your head rest down towards the ground. And you're gonna work on those gentle breaths Push your stomach into the yoga mat on that inhale. And then on the exhale, let that mat sink into your stomach. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go one more just like this. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. So option is to stay here and continue with your breath and getting that pressure, the feedback from the mat, or you can take your right arm straight out towards the side. You can come up onto those left fingertips and then we're gonna take our left leg, lift your left leg up and over behind you and it's just gonna move that mat over more towards that right lower abdominal area. Nice gentle stretch in the front of that right arm. And you're breathing into it nice and gentle. Inhale, try and push that stomach and the right side into the mat. Exhale, you're sinking into it. Good, nice gentle breath in. Exhale. You're just noticing these little things on this side for when we switch to our other side so that you can compare. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Nice, and slowly unwinding here, coming flat back down onto the mat. And then we're just gonna switch sides. So you're gonna take your left arm straight out towards the side, come up onto those right fingertips, and then that right leg is gonna lift up and back behind you. Let your head rest down. The mat moves over towards the left side. And just notice, is one side a little bit more tender than the other? It's a little easier to breathe on one side than the other. You're starting to hear noises coming from your stomach, which is awesome. That means things are starting to move. Can you continue with that gentle breath? Just notice those subtle little differences, left side to right side in your hips, in the low back, in the front of your chest. Nice. 
Let's just take one more breath in here. Exhale, let it all go. And then gently rolling back onto your stomach. We're gonna roll that mat back out and then come back down onto your back. Getting nice and comfortable here. Let that head get heavy. And you're gonna take your hands, use your fingertips, and we're gonna start on the right side, below our belly button on the right. And you're just gonna put some firm pressure down on your abdomen. Just doing little circles, starting on that right lower side. And you're just looking if things feel tender, if it feels like hard pressure underneath. And you're doing these little circular motions all the way along that right side. And we're working our way up towards our rib cage. And just observing what you're feeling, gentle little circles. And then we're gonna slowly start to make our way across our stomach, across that abdomen, over towards the left side. Maybe there's some difference from left side to your right side. One side's a little more tender than the other. If you find a spot that feels a little harder, you can hold it there. And just gentle circles, working your way back down to that left lower side. And then we're gonna go across that lower abdomen. So just making a really big circle while we're making little circles with our fingers. If you wanted, you can continue that again. Maybe you go back to where you found one of those spots. Good. It's going all the way around. Last time. And then we're gonna bring those knees in toward your chest again. Give yourself that nice big hug, pull everything up, curl, nice big ball, gently rock from side to side. And then lower everything all the way back down. Place those feet on the ground, gentle rock to the left side. And then over towards that right side. And then we're gonna roll all the way onto our left side. Press yourself, come all the way up. And let's take one last cleansing breath in. Lift those arms up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center. Awesome job in practice today. Hopefully you're feeling better, things are moving, and you're hearing all of those awesome gurgling noises in your stomach. If you wanna to continue to keep learning more about your body and how it moves, I'm putting a link down below where you can join me for two free live classes over at my other platform. And I would love to know down below in the comments what you want to see in the next video. I make these videos for you. Until next time, namaste.